All right, so now I'll continue on about the uh, talking about this phenomenon they're calling atmospheric inversion uh, that keeps the particulate matter down so people can't have burns when they have the burn ban here in Southern California, the longest running consecutive days or whatever. And uh, so they're not making the connection between this phenomenon and the geoengineering that's taking place overhead, even though within the same breath, they will say that uh, it's causing respiratory illnesses and heart disease. <laughs> and it amazes me that so many people I know or within my sphere of contact actually uh, are affected by people becoming seriously ill or dying and we're not making these connections and like when I point it out to them they're kind of like oh yeah you know uh, <laughs> I I was just shocked I mean, I had this experience yesterday where one of my customers, you know, it was the first time I had seen her since the, since the new year and saying, oh, happy new year, this and that. And they had been spraying us. It was, the, it just got through raining the day before and, and they're spraying us super heavy the very next day. This is two days since then. They they sprayed us heavy yesterday and then let it go today, I guess. But anyway, my customer is telling me that she's going to this funeral of this young girl who just died uh, because of the flu and respiratory illnesses. And somebody else she knows is sick and she's on her way to this funeral. <laughs> and... In the meantime, I'm looking up in the sky and there's just trails all over it. And I was kind of bent because another friend of mine right now has lung cancer. And um, it's just, it's amazing to me what's going on here on this planet. And people aren't making the connections and when you try to point things out, it's there is just this void, or there is some like a, it is literally like a spell has been cast upon people, and you can't, they can't see. Like look up in the sky, and you can't see it. And when you point out, no, you go, no, look, I mean, look, there's X's in the sky right there, and they say, oh. Yeah, there are. And you say, yeah, that's not natural. It, that shouldn't be there. Oh. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll have to look into that. And you know they're not going to. Um, even though they're telling you that they will. And they're all bummed because their friend is super sick. And their other niece or whoever this young girl was I, I wish I could remember the relation but she even said it was kind of a like a big story that was even on the news because of the age of this girl and everything and her health and whatever now she's dying of flu like symptoms uh, with respiratory stuff and we've been getting hit super hard with the geoengineering the whole time and it's just amazing to me that people then will go to the their doctors, their medical deities, you know, the MD, and they will believe whatever they say and take whatever drug. But when you try to talk to people and say, hey, uh, wow, have you looked into... Uh, taking Kratom to, to try to relieve uh, some of your pain so you can maybe ease up on on your, your MS content, you know. 
Well, I'll go ask my doctor about that. And of course, the doctor says it's BS, so they don't even try it. They're not even going to try something that, at minimum, has shown to pretty much have no side effects. <laughs> like, adverse ones, right? I mean, maybe, I guess, if uh, you take this last thing that they cited where they said six in the whole nation but those other six those six they had other drugs in their system too and you know if you tell he's oh have uh has so and so looked into intravenous vitamin c or intravenous curcumin so no because you know they're just doing whatever their doctor says and it's like man uh, I don't understand why somebody would not even try seriously something that at best would really help them get better at worst doesn't have super bad side effects that chemo and everything else has it's really weird you know and I think I think about sometimes too like about different talk show hosts and stuff it's like a lot of you know in the ME community I understand it's like we don't want to get really political about things because we see that these things are actually bigger than left right Democrat Republican um, I mean everybody's in on uh, at the higher ups I mean these people they you know what was that the uh, the the karaoke carpool with what's his name and they have Gwen Stefani and uh, oh what's their name you know these famous people basically joking about the ME although they don't reference it directly they're gonna joke about uh, we're the champions of the world, you know. Oh, yeah, I thought that was like this, you know. So they know what's going on. These people know. And they're letting us know that they do. And we see pictures of, you know. I Anyway, so the people that talk about this stuff, or don't, you know, you wonder about, like, okay, let's just say Alex Jones, right? Well, how much does he say? I mean, he already looks crazy. I can understand maybe why he's not going to touch on the ME. <laughs> because then he would be even more discredited. And he's not to say that he's not even a tool. I mean, maybe he's just a tool. Um, you know, he's controlled opposition, which... Okay, maybe that's the case. But at least he'll proclaim Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, at least, you know, but I guess what is worse, one that will proclaim something and, you know, I don't know, but I do know that McCain is like a total snake. So these people that call themselves Republicans and are complete warmongering people that just want to continue to tell us that it's okay to bomb people and to keep funding uh, wars and weaponry and everything else that is really not good for anybody it's not you know, oh but war is good for the economy oh okay so well if that's the case then why doesn't my buddy who owns the glass shop just cruise around with uh, a hammer at nighttime and walk down the street and start breaking windows right because that's that's good for the economy Oh, well, no, that's only good for him. It, yeah, exactly. It's not good for the economy when you break a bunch of things and you're destroying resources. That's not good for the economy. All that does is divide people and kill people and <laughs> make it easier for another group to come in and impose their will and take over and benefit now and fill the vacuum from the whole sect that they just removed. <laughs>